Hi Year 6, this is our next lesson on pop art. This is moving on from when we did the letters and styling them in an onomatopoeic or sound way um, to emphasise them. We're now going to do a full word, we're going to do three of them, using the sound to inspire us. I'm going to show you how I lay out the page like I normally do and then we'll move on to drawing. Hi Year 6, so this is my layout. Um, title, I've created it as onomatopoeic words. Um, I've then got three boxes, which um, they are six centimetres down or long and 16 centimetres wide with a two centimetre gap. Um, this should allow us enough space, as long as we draw it out in pencil first, for the three words that we are going to choose. Um, I'm now going to have a think about what sound words I want to do, um, emphasise my title uh, and then I will get drawing. Well, I've just done my title and I've picked up my three key words and I've just written them down as um, capital letters. Um, I found a really useful web page which I will link in um, for you, which inspired me with some more interesting um, sound words because it can be quite hard to think of words that sound like sounds. Um, I'm now going to style the writing um, and just a little top tip, if you want to overlap the writing like I have done on the title, can you see here um, that the letters overlap one another? I know you can still see the pencil um, but the trick with that is, is to make the capital letters, uh, when you draw them out, make them closer together um, because then it makes the bubble of the, the border that goes around it have to overlap. And I'll show you that in the rivet. Um, I'm also thinking that I might add in um, some objects or I could, maybe with the flutter word, for example, I might add in a butterfly or a few butterflies around it to emphasise that word even more. Um, but I'll see what I think when I'm working on them. Um, I must also rub up these lines and the lines around the title, um, but I'll show you it in stages. So I've just started working on the ribbit. Um, I have used the internet to help me for this. Um, I did a quick Google search on frog's feet, frog's eyes and a lily pad. Um, I'm trying to make the word almost look a bit like the frog, which I think is really fun. I can then add in um, some green to the letters or some green with some spots, a bit like a toad. Um, I can then add in another shade of green for the lily pad um, and obviously rub it on my pencil lines before I colour in. Um, and I'll continue with bubble and flutter um, and I'll show you how they turn out. Um, right, so I've just finished off doing my outlines for my pop art words. Um, you can see that all three are really different. I have to say, I found the flutter one quite tricky. I thought it'd be really nice to do butterfly wings on that, but actually, the butterfly wing on a letter is quite um, tricky to then keep, make sure you show the letter as well, if that makes sense. Um, so my last stage now is to um, rub out pencil lines, to add some nice bright colours to complement the words and make them look even more like the word they're describing. And that'll finish it off really nicely. Year six, here is my finished ribbit. Um, I think it looks really effective, I hope you do too. Um, it looks a bit, it does look like a frog um, sitting on a lily pad on a pond, um, which I really like. Uh, there's one thing I forgot to say. Now I have used a fine liner today. Um, if I turn back to last week's work, um, I have used a thicker black pen. So what I'll do on the bubble, I think I'll use a thicker black pen for that, because it's a slightly different style. But if you want to use a black fine liner to give it more of a, uh, refined or more detailed look then please do that as well but they should have a black outline and a coloured uh, inside. So here is my finished page. Um, you can see again that all three are very different. 
Um, the flutter, I have to say, was one of the trickiest. I've tried to make them look like butterfly wings, but I'm not sure if they're a bit um, over detailed, but I'll let you guys decide that. But I still enjoyed doing it because it, um, it was a bit different. So I'm really hoping that you guys enjoy doing your sound words. Um, try three different styles or try like an animal one and a sound one and then one of your choice just to give yourself a really good range and um, please do submit the work and I look forward to seeing it soon. Thank you.